favorite June wrap up from me because you ain't getting one. I only read for the Emojiathon and I like did weekly wrap ups. And my fourth week, I didn't read anything but Harry Potter. And there's a Harry Potter video if you want to check it out so you can see what I thought of the book. But all the other books that I read, I've already wrapped up. So it would just be like a super repetitive video. And your girl ain't doing that. So if you want to know what I read for the month of June, I think I read 16 books. Then check out my other two videos. I'll leave them linked down below. There's going to be so many bloopers for this because I'm just not in the mood to film. But I know I have to. And I just... Hey guys, it's Jay and today I am here with my July TBR video. I have like five books I think I'm going to try to read for the month of July. I know that five isn't like as many as I've been reading in my previous months because I've been reading like 22 books or like 15 books, but I start work this month and your girl is exhausted. Your girl does not feel like filming, your girl does not feel like reading, your girl just feels like sleeping all the time, so I don't know how much reading is going to get done, so. Without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> The first book that I'm hoping to actually finish in July is for a book club that Dylan, the Reader 5, and I created. I'll leave the links down below for the Goodreads group and the Twitter if you guys want to join us in reading this book for the month of July. The book is Queens of Geek by Jen Wilde. I honestly don't know that much about this book other than it has LGBTQA plus elements to it and that it takes place in like a Comic-Con setting, so we thought that it was like a great pick for July so if you're interested in joining mine and Dylan's book club all the links will be down below so you can check us out and read the book with us. The next book I'm actually like pretty much done it because I started it in June but never actually finished it because you go lazy. But it is Gail Foreman's Just One Day. It's like a super cute contemporary book about a girl named Allison who is very introverted. She doesn't like to go out of her way to do things that are adventurous and then she meets a boy named Willem and decides to take a trip to Paris with him for just one day. A bunch of shit goes down and honestly, I don't really like this book so far. I'm almost done. I'm like, let's see. I'm 247 pages in out of like 360 or something like that, but like honestly probably gonna be a two-star unless something interesting happens because I'm not liking it. So <laughs> wait for my wrap-up to hear me probably trash this book. Which you guys seem to find entertaining, so are you really complaining? No. The next book will 100% be a one-star for me because I only have like 90 pages left and I absolutely despise it so far, but it is once in a full moon by Ellen Schreiber. Sure, Schreiber. This author. And I hate it so far. It is the stupidest book. I'm sorry. It's about a girl named Celeste who falls in love with a werewolf and that's basically it, but it is just no. It's just no. It's gonna be a, like a one star from me, 100%. So wait for my wrap up and you can hear my full thoughts on it, but uh, <laughs> it's an interesting one. The next book I received from the author and I am so excited about it because I've heard amazing things about it and it is The Seafarer's Kiss by Julia Ember. Honestly, all I really know about it is mermaids and that they're bisexual. And I am here for it. I am so excited. I haven't started it yet, but it's gonna be my next book once I've done the other two and like so excited, not gonna lie. I'm kind of going into it blind because like I don't want to know anything other than bisexual mermaids. But like honestly, I'm living for this book because like the end pages are so pretty. These aren't end pages, they're chapter headings, but I love them. The final book that I'm going to try to finish. And hopefully I'll finish more than five books, but you know, we don't know with Jan because she's, she's not very reliable. It is No Use for a Name by Penelope Wright and I also got this straight from the author. This book follows a 15 year old baby who has always thought that baby was her nickname until she goes to sign up for her driver's license and turns out her family just forgot to name her. She is the fifth child and her mother is very abusive and her father isn't really in the picture so she's trying to hide that aspect of her life from everybody at school and then she's also going through this identity crisis at the same time. And then like the little tagline is, turns out it's not that easy to keep your identity private especially if you don't have one. It sounds like it would be really cool and thank you to the author for sending me your book. I'm very interested in reading it so... Hopefully I'm going to get this done as well. I'll have a review of this up on my channel whenever I finish it, so stay tuned for that. Alright guys, so those are the five books that I'm hoping to read for July. I hopefully I actually get through them all. I'm 100% going to get through Queens of Geeks and No Use for a Name and The Seafarer's Kiss because they're like review-ish books. The other two I'll probably get through just because I'm pretty much done them already. So let me know down below if you've read any of these books, if you like them, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!